Hello all, welcome back. Let me adjust the mic. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go ahead and select our mesh. And I'm just going to start skipping the introductions. I realize that I say it every single time. It gets a little bit old. Um, I just kind of want to start giving this a little bit more shape. Kind of maximize what we have right now. And I'm using the widgets, which I'm not too fond of them. Not that uh, uh, the Blender Foundation has been done a bad job with the widgets. I just don't like widgets in general. So I just moved all that stuff down just to move it back up, and now I'm gonna undo all of it. Okay. I want to add more detail to this and stuff. Let's pull these back. Maybe take them in. Let's tab out of that. See what it looks like. That's a little bit better. I want her to be cute and attractive, but I don't want her look her looking too much like a you know a child or anything. Um, but looks kind of like the way it's looking. And it looks like uh, we don't have quite. It's like we might need one more loop um, on the inside, actually. So let's pull this one forward and pull it down a little bit. Let's grab that vertex, take it back. This one as well, just a little bit. Like I said, just trying to get the most out of this that I can. Um, it's not usually the best idea to model with just a bajillion. That's my that's my word again. Like I'm the one that made it up, but uh, just a bajillion <laughs> uh, divisions in our mesh or these loops. So. Anyway, let's actually go to the front again. Let's grab that and put that in a little. Take some of these in a bit more. And we need to go to the right. Okay, so let's add a division right here. Control R. And let's take it really close. And then let's pull it straight back a little. Okay. Let's scale it up on Z. Just a little bit. And let's grab these uh these corner ones. Pull them in a bit. And we'd actually get a bit more uh, detail out of it if we divide this. So let me go to faces. I'm going to kill that. I'm going to add a loop right here. And then I'm going to um, actually going to put a triangle down here. Um, just having trouble deciding where I'm going to put it. So we have to put it there. 
That's okay. I can deal with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull that forward a little. Let's grab this vertex right here. Move it a bit. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of these vertexes, vertices, however you want to call them. And I'm going to go with Alt-S. Perfect. I'll scale them up a little bit. Let's try that again. It's a pretty fat lip. But I think it adds a little something. So <coughs> now let's go ahead and go into faces. S X zero. Put that to zero on X. Uh, the one behind it as well. Set this to zero on Y. Actually, let's go in here and get. Whoops, not that one. The one right there too. S, Y, 0. And we'll smooth this outside one a little bit. There we go. It's quite a bit better. To me, anyway. So let's go in here and I'm going to add a bit more geometry on the nose. Right here. The squiggly thing. We don't want to do that. Let's actually take it right here. Let's rotate this one first. There we go. Because I want that to start going back into the ear, so. There we go. I'm just going to smooth that one, two times. And kind of start tweaking it a little bit. Let's grab that edge. Grab and move. Let's pull it forward. And this one, let's go to the front. Let's pull that out. There we go. A little bit better. Let's pull that one out a little bit as well. Let's grab all these, basically these two faces. Whoops, like that. Smooth it once. Okay, it's a little bit too hard of an edge right there. So, let's go to vertices, let's go to the front. Pull that one down. Let's kind of start taking these in just a little bit. Not sure where, where I want to take that one. We'll end up with some mushy shape right there because it's not quite the geometry I want. Need just a little bit more, but I don't really want to commit to putting it in there because I'm a bad person. So let's go to the right and let's see about uh, adjusting this stuff. And 
looks like we're missing an edge right here that I want for the ridge of the nose. So yet another division right here. Just gonna pull it forward a little bit. There we go. And let's grab these outside ones and go to the front. Pull them out just a little bit. Okay. Let's take these and pull them out. And then this one, pull it out a bump in the nose a little bit. Same here, take it out. Let's take all those out. Okay. It's a little bit better. And that's actually not too bad for the nose. Um, I'm fairly satisfied with this part of the face. So let's go ahead and I'm going to select using um, the brush selection. I'm just going to select this entire top of the head, even these. We may have to tweak them, but that's okay. Let's get out of that. Let's go to the right and I'm going to put the 3D cursor right about, I don't know, here. Let's go to the front. Okay, and now let's make that two sphere, 100. Perfect. Let's undo that. Couple things. That for one. Now let's pull it in closer. Two sphere. Let's scale that up on Z. Okay, let's just move it up. That's quite a cranium. Let's rotate that. Pull it back. But overall much smoother. We can get away with that with minimal tweaking. <laughs> uh, maybe not. She looks a little bit like a brainiac. Um, let's just undo that selection stuff and Alt S to shrink that down. And then scale it down on Z a little bit more. Okay, let's take those, kind of adjust them. Pull this one out. <clears throat> okay. Well, at some point we're going to have to Oops, I meant to go with edges. We're going to have to uh, commit to putting an ear in here, so let's kind of start getting oops, undo, undo a bit of this jaw done. So let's extrude that. Left click to commit. Scale it down. Let's go to the right. Let's grab and move it. About there. That seems okay. Let's extrude this. Let's rotate it. Let's extrude it again. Rotate it. Extrude it. You got the idea. Now let's go... Actually, let's just make a face between there and smooth it. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, I'm bumping the microphone while I'm rubbing my sleepy little eye. Put the uh, cursor in there and make that a sphere. Okay, now I can scale it down on uh, Y and scale it in general. Pull it forward a little bit. And we might even want to uh, kind of play with these a little bit. That might be okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a real problem with that. And. I do see problems with this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, don't want that. 